Hi everyone, today's lesson is on patterns. So patterns are repeating lines, as you can see here, repeating shapes, or repeating colors. So this is a page right from your K-12 Art 1 student pages for semesters 1 and 2. For those of you who are in first grade, you might have received something similar to this in kindergarten as well. So let's look at the different kinds of patterns. Here are some line pattern examples. There are zigzag patterns, spirals, stripes. Stripes are also patterns. And then we have shape patterns. Patterns can come in all sorts of forms and shapes and colors. So here are some, just some examples. Um, here we see some shape pattern examples. So here's triangles, uh, polka dots, rectangles, and lastly, we've got color patterns. Now let's take a look at another page. Oops, oh, okay. So this is the artwork that we're gonna observe today, but we're not getting to it just yet. Okay, today we're going to take a closer look at alternating patterns. What are alternating patterns? That's when we have a pattern of repeating two kinds of things, okay? So there are two things, two different things that are repeating over and over again. That's how we make an alternating pattern. So for example, first we have a straight line and then we have a wavy line. And again, we have a straight line and the wavy line, and then it keeps going on and on. Again, mm -hmm. here we have a, an alternating shape pattern made from two shapes. So first there's a square, and then there's a circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. Okay, same thing here, but two colors, red and blue, red and blue, red and blue. Okay. Yeah. Straight, okay, straight line and circle. Straight, circle, straight, circle, straight, circle, straight, circle. And it goes on again. Mm -hmm. Just repeat that in your mind. Yeah. And uh, here are two more examples for you. Mixed lines and shapes. Yeah, so you can have patterns of basically anything. We even see patterns in our everyday lives. Let's uh, take a look at some examples. Here, Here's a pattern in honeycombs. Uh, it's supposed to be like really close to a hexagonal pattern. Let's take a look at another screen here. Yeah, okay. So I just searched up the patterns in honeycombs and, or actually I just searched honeycombs and you can see the pattern that's naturally occurring in honeycombs. It's made up of a hexagonal pattern. You can see it really clearly here. And let's take a look at some other kinds of patterns. I think we have, yeah. So here's a pattern on the street. Like you can see patterns of tiles on the road. Uh, you can see brick patterns right here. Yeah, patterns over here as well. Let's take a look at some other pictures that exemplify patterns. Patterns here, brick patterns. If you've seen a brick wall, you know there are uh, alternating patterns. Rectangle, rectangle, rectangle again here. Oh, this took us somewhere else. <laughs> Yeah, but you can see the pattern. Patterns in a curtain. Patterns on shower curtains. So this is what the art lesson is about. Just taking a look at different kinds of patterns of everyday objects. But patterns here, everyday objects, patterns here, shopping carts. <clears throat> Anything interesting? anywhere. Yeah. What about the acorn? Ah, nice. I like that. Patterns occurring naturally. Patterns in nature. Here's um, a pangolin. Yeah, pangolin. Patterns on up. pangolins. Yeah, we're going to take a look at patterns on animals as well very soon. 
here's one that was mentioned in the lesson patterns on blinds for windows so here are some patterns here line and some gap and then line gap or rectangle gap rectangle vertical blinds Ooh, it's kind of slow <laughs> Uh, never mind that took us somewhere else so sorry about that but hopefully you guys get the idea let's take a look at some more patterns in nature this one's actually one of my favorites these are succulents which are a type of plant and you can see patterns naturally occurring in these plants how beautiful they are beautiful yeah very let's take a look at this one. Ooh, colorful so we can yeah. see color patterns here, sort of green and then purplish and then uh, maybe a little bit of bluish uh, hues here this and then be, green again. This one could be kind of purple beach, mm -hmm. I think. Greenish blue and then purplish blue and then greenish blue again. Yeah, it's an alternating color pattern yeah. as well as a shape pattern occurring within the succulent plants. Here's another succulent pattern wow. occurring naturally. The lines, okay. right? The yeah, lines I think make the pattern. We've spent enough time looking at patterns. Now let's take a look at our lesson. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Just a little more.